Hi, I'm Lisa Vondrasik, and I'm the Curator of Children's Literature Research Collections at the University of Minnesota Archives and Special Collections. And every once in a while, there is a book so special that we devote the whole segment to that one title. And today, I have Tim Johnson. And the book, Tim, Tim, say a few words about who you are, and then uh, we're going to talk about right, this book. All right. So I am Tim Johnson. I am the curator of special collections and rare books, and the E.W. McDermott curator of the Sherlock Holmes collections. And I want to talk about Curtis Armstrong's memoir, Revenge of the Nerd. First of all, what is the Sherlock Holmes connection? Curtis, since childhood, mm -hmm. has had two main, he might say, nerdish passions. Sherlock Holmes and the Beatles. Oh. And Curtis is now an honored and well-recognized member of the Baker Street Irregulars. Oh. So there is, there's actually a very touching passage in here that talks about his discovery of Sherlock Holmes. So anyone who finds themselves a person who read a lot of Sherlock Holmes, grew up with Sherlock Holmes, has an affinity for these body of work and your collection would find Curtis Armstrong's autobiography memoir of interest. Of interest. And, you know, if they have any interest in film and television, too, uh, obviously Curtis has done. So a great book for anyone who's interested in popular culture. Yep. If you want to read media. Booger's memoir, this is. And it's, it says, <laughs> a singular adventure of the man who would be Booger, Booger. because he was in the movie right. Revenge, of the, Revenge Nerds. of the Nerds. And the popularization of the phrase nerd. Mm. Well, and he, he spends just a little bit of time talking about that because nerd is an invention of Dr. Seuss. He's the ah. one that first comes up with the word and uses it in one of his books, I think from the 50s, 53, oh. something like that. So uh, how is this as a writer, like as a read? What would you say? It's, it's, a, it's a good read. It's a quick read. It's episodic. Um, kind of takes you through different parts of his career, movie, television, stage. So this memoir, when we think of, when we have an idea of who someone is, this actually gives us a incredibly rounded picture of a human being with many interests, mm -hmm. and also who has to overcome the singular adventures of the man who would be Booger. Booger. Yes. So do you think he successfully overcomes his uh, movie persona? Yeah, I'm, I'm most definitely, but I, I had to pause for a second because I was thinking, would Curtis phrase the question that way? Because he doesn't see it as a negative. It's not an overcoming. I mean, he, I think, always wanted to be an actor from a young age. Uh, if not an actor, he was a very good mime of famous mm -hmm. personages. Ah. Um, so it's not an overcoming so much as it is just this flowering. A flowering. And I have to say, I now want to read this book. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you. Good, I did you. my job. I did thank my job. Thank you for bringing yes. it to my attention. Well, and thank you to Curtis for writing a very... Uh, entertaining and informative memoir. That's all we have today for Read This Book.